Hello family, the movie begins with a young boy named Nikki. He is referring to himself. Nikki is never required to work hard. The girl was quite easy to impress. He found out about it when Nikki's mother's acquaintance attempted to seduce him in the present. Nikki is a male escort. He has no work and has never bought a home. That's why he attempts to seduce women with his good looks. He flirts with them and lives in their house with the goal of doing so. One night, he went to a club. He noticed a girl named Samantha and followed her. It was difficult to ignore Nikki, but it is simple for Nikki to make a girl fall in love with him. Within minutes, he had Samantha's attention and began kissing her. He went to her home with her and they had an affair. Nikki did not purposefully get up in the morning. Although knowing Samantha had woken up since he did not want to leave the house, Samantha returned to work. After Samantha had gone, Nikki awoke and began cooking for her. He tried everything he could to make Samantha feel special so that he could spend the night at Samantha's apartment. When Samantha returned home, he looked after her and attempted to make her fall in love with him. Samantha did not inquire about his personal life, and they eventually became intimate. Time passed in this manner, and Nikki continued to satiate Samantha's hunger before returning. Samantha continued to stuff his pockets. Nikki eventually became tired of Samantha and began seeking ways to get rid of her. Samantha needed to go to New York for a meeting, so she invited Nikki to accompany her. Nikki forced her to go alone by offering numerous reasons. He went to a party at his closest friend's house after Samantha left. Perry, his best friend, is a flirt just like him. Both are unconcerned with the feelings of women. They are only concerned about themselves and getting laid. The celebration. Nikki's ex-girlfriend arrived and began publicly defaming him. Nikki was unconcerned about any of it. He managed to get himself out of it. Then he brought another girl into a room and began having an affair with her. The next day, Nikki received Samantha's phone call and spoke to her as if he were dying without her. In actuality, he was having a good time. Samantha had already begun to question him. That's why she arrived home a day early, so she could find out what Nikki had been up to. Samantha noticed Nikki with a girl at her house when she arrived. Samantha lost control after watching that. But, once again, Nikki used his charm to subdue Samantha. They both chose to end the relationship there, but they kept the intimacy going. They began to draw close. The next day, Nikki met Heather, a waiter. He began flirting with her. This was the first time a girl did not get attracted to him after their initial meeting. Nikki was terrified by this, but instead of paying the bill, he wrote his number on a piece of tissue paper and left the establishment. Heather got Nikki's address from the man at the restaurant and went to Samantha's house. She gave him the red signal once more, got the money, and fled the scene. Samantha, who had come to be intimate, took over Nikki, but Nikki was preoccupied with Heather. As a result, he did not amuse Samantha. After that, he accompanied Harry to Heather's restaurant. He pretended to be on the phone with a wealthy individual, negotiating a major commercial transaction. He was hoping to win Heather this way, but it was all for naught. Because of this, Nikki got into a fight with Harry. Harry evicted Nikki from his home. Heather, on the other hand, called Nikki and asked him out on a date. Heather got a phone call. She didn't tell Nikki about it and then departed. Nikki became enraged, but he was powerless to intervene. Samantha then noticed Nikki's changed conduct and questioned him whether he preferred anybody else. Nikki avoided her once more. Samantha was in the hospital for two days. She did not explain the cause to Nikki. Nikki was found alone at home. Heather arrived at his house and began swimming in the pool. What made Nikki so angry the other night? Heather stated that her younger brother was ill and that she was caring for him. She burst out crying and became intimate with him. Nikki went to park Heather's car the next day while she was sleeping. It was finally time to clean the road. He discovered Heather possessed a high-end car. A regular waitress couldn't afford it. He had a suspicious feeling. As a result, he went straight to Heather and challenged her. He discovered that Heather, like him, was an escort. Just as Nikki seduces wealthy women, Heather captures rich boys as they learn about each other's lives. Nikki forced her to leave. Samantha got surgery on her private areas, and Nikki found out she wished to take a break. As a result, Nikki left her alone. Then he went to a party and began dating a girl. However, he was. Heather is still on his mind. Samantha discovered that her conduct is changing. As a result, despite her best efforts, she drew him out of her house. Samantha ignored Nikki's advice. In the end, Nikki was homeless since he had a quarrel with Harry as well. He had nowhere to go now. As a result, he spent the night on the streets. He then tried approaching his friends, but no one was willing to assist him. Finally, he went to see Harry who was in a club with another friend. As Harry's friend was misbehaving with a waitress, Nikki got into a fight with him. When Harry took him out of the club, he told him that he needed to examine himself before pointing fingers at others. He has no right to pass judgment on anyone. The chasm between Harry and Nikki deepened as a result, and Nikki fled. To get his life back on track, 
He went to a hotel and began flirting with a wealthy woman, but he was unsuccessful. He ran into Heather there and apologized for his mistakes. Heather recognized his predicament and encouraged him to stay at her house because Nikki was homeless. He accompanied her there. Nikki set up a date for her and departed that evening. She spent quality time with Nikki when she returned. Then she received a call from a friend who informed her about the rich man's party. They both dressed up and went out there. There, Nikki assisted Heather in capturing the wealthy man. Heather asked Nikki to sleep on the couch when they returned. Nikki, on the other hand, went to her room, and they started kissing. They both started the next day fresh after a good night's sleep. They began spending a lot of time together and eventually fell in love. Nikki's ex arrived at a restaurant one night while they were both having dinner and began misbehaving. Heather was not pleased. Nikki, on the other hand, became envious when Heather decided to go on a date with other guys. In short, they both began to love each other. They can't bear the thought of sharing one other with anybody else, but true love is difficult to achieve. Heather's ex-boyfriend proposed marriage to her. Heather developed feelings for Nikki. However, love can lead to money. Her ex-boyfriend was extremely wealthy. As a result, Heather married her ex. Nikki couldn't believe it and tried to persuade Heather. Then he ran into a friend at a store. He then drove her home, where she was inebriated. When he got Heather's call, she suspected Nikki of cheating on her. She hung up without giving Nikki a chance to explain. Nikki was unhappy and went to Heather's friend's house for assistance. She suggested he propose to Heather. He traveled to New York to ask her to marry him. When he arrived, he discovered Heather had married the wealthy man. Nikki tried hard to persuade her, but she refused. As her spouse arrived, she had made up her mind to prioritize money over love. Heather pretended Nikki was a delivery boy. Heather's husband tipped him and forced him to leave the house. Nikki walked away with a broken heart. He promised himself that he would become so wealthy that no one would be able to offend him like this. He returned with this conviction and began working as a delivery guy. He went to Samantha's house one day to deliver something. He noticed a handsome boy there. The lad took Nikki's place, and he entertained Samantha while residing at her house after she left. Nikki discovered that life isn't all about parties and flirting. He will get serious and begin to work hard in order to accomplish something significant in his life. This is how our movie ends. Leave us a comment on how you found this movie recap. See you in the next movie recap. We hope that you enjoy your time and have a good day.